Hi, how are you? Hi, this is Daniel from KTSW 89.9, and I'm here with Eric from Say Hi. How would you compare the music scene in Seattle compared to Austin? Well, you know, most of the time I'm in Austin, it's South by Southwest, so you're sort of competing with any every indie rock band in the country, so it's it's kind of chaos. Um, Seattle is a uh, there's a very there's a good music community there, and it's uh, people are supportive of each other. Um, I guess I haven't really experienced much of what the Austin music scene is like the rest of the year. I just know what it's like right now, and I just know that that involves me habitually looking for a parking spot and playing a shorter set than we usually do. Who's and Oz is your fifth album. What does it take to keep your writing fresh? Uh, well, actually, Ooz and Oz was the sixth, um, but there's a lot, so I don't, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, and actually, there, there's a later one called Um Uh Oh that just came out in January. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just, I sort of try and make every record better than the last one, and um, I'm always listening to music, to new music, and to old music that I've listened to in the past, but maybe. I didn't experience in the same way that I'm, I'm able to experience it now, and so I sort of just like listening to records, and um, usually I'll listen to enough music and spend enough time in my head that I'll be able to write a, a record's worth of music. <coughs> what was, what's the new album called again? I'm sorry, man. Like sorry. I, I uh, looked up uh, Magnetic. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's called Um Uh Oh. Um Uh Oh. Okay. How would you describe um, uh uh-oh to your listeners? Well, uh, people have been saying that it's a more mature Say Hi record, um, which I I suppose I would agree with. Um, There's a little bit uh, less of a synthesizer element that was pretty prominent on some of the early records. And uh, I've sort of been listening to a lot of classic rock, lots of Stones and the Beatles and Tom Petty and Bruce Springsteen and I think that uh, the new record sort of falls into that category a little more. So who are you going to see while you're here? Uh, I have no plans whatsoever except to see the rest of the bands on the Barsoop Showcase tonight. So lots of lots of great bands here, some of my favorite bands actually. So I'll just be hanging out here. And uh, tomorrow I have no plans except for eating tacos and drinking beer. How do you feel about bands selling their songs to commercials? Is it selling out or a great promotional tool? I I think that the concept of selling out is sort of an antiquated notion. I think that uh, bands sort of need to do that to survive these days um, because usually the people who use the phrase selling out are the same people who are stealing music and, you know, playing video games at home at home instead of coming to rock shows um so you know if a television show wants to pay me x amount of dollars to play my song and it helps me pay my rent so that i could keep making records i'm fine with that thank you yeah of course thanks man